welcome to my kitchen. It is actually my birthday today. And I had planned on doing a pork roast for dinner, so I'm still gonna do that. Um, we're gonna have the family in tonight for just a little brunchy stuff, like Bruce is supposed to make a pizza, and I said I'd make mac and cheese for the kids. But for our big meal, which I like to stick to, we're gonna do a pork loin. So what I'm gonna do first is just spray my pan slightly. Um, and I need to preheat my oven to 325, I believe. Now, this is not my recipe. This is a friend of mine, Kendall Sperry. His son is living with us while he does his um, college at NM. And, uh, He gave us a pork loin as a, I don't know, thank you for watching my son type thing, but um, he didn't need to do that, but I'm glad he did because I learned how to cook one. This is my third time and hopefully this will be, the first time was good, but it was, I thought, too salty, but I forgot the brown sugar. The second time was better. I don't know what I could have done different the second time. But today, you're just gonna watch me do it right from the get-go, okay? So I sprayed my pan just lightly with that, and I have my pork loin right here, which we're gonna open up, and I'm just gonna rinse it slightly. If I would have known, I might have changed my mind that I'd already thawed this, um, Bruce decided to make bacon and eggs, so like a lot of pork. Okay, okay so I'm just gonna rinse it off slightly and I'm gonna put it on a paper towel and pat it dry. Which, you know, with the scare titty on paper towels that are probably gonna come up again. But as you can see, just patting it dry. Sesame Street in the background. Just uh, couldn't change it. Okay, so now we're going to make the rub, which I could have had that all together to save some time, but I don't have a lot of time to save today, so we're just doing it in front of you. Okay, so first you're going to need two tablespoons of kosher salt. Well, I don't have kosher salt, so we're using what I have. But if you want it just like Kendall's, you want kosher salt, which is the harder. And I hate using two tablespoons because it's so salty, but the sugar does balance it out. Um, then you need a half a cup of brown sugar. It always, always snows on my birthday, and it is beautiful out. I've had my walk. Um, it's cold, but it's a good cold. It clears out your nose, clears out your throat. I'm thinking anybody that feels sick and feels like they might catch COVID, go take a cold walk. It's good for your lungs. It's good for your nose. It's good for everything. Okay. Um... Then you need one tablespoon of paprika. Now he wrote specifically smoked paprika. Again, I'm using what's in my cupboard and I don't have smoke, I just have paprika. And then a tablespoon of dark chili powder.
in his recipe, but when he wrote me on how to do it and what to do, he coats his um, loin with oil first before he puts the marinade on. And I'll tell you, I'm gonna do it with my hands because it works better. Um, I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit on. He probably wouldn't, if he measured it, probably be no more than a tablespoon. Rub it on it really good. Then you're gonna take your rub, and I do the bottom side first, but I guess it really is not gonna matter. You want the fat side up top on, you know, facing up. I'm French people, and there's nothing wrong with being French, but I speak with my hands a lot. So, so you want to rub it, you want to make sure the rub's good on the sides. Now, you've got to go by the, and I'll have it on the recipe, you've got to go by the poundage of whatever your loin is in the cooking process. The first time I cooked it, I, because I like my meat cooked, and Kendall wants me to use a thermometer thing, and I do have one, but I've not yet learned how to use it. I'm sorry, Kendall. I will learn, because he said I wouldn't live without it after, but I'm just so used to going by ears. But I don't use one. But anyway, it's at 325, and I think I cooked it for like three hours, the first one, and it went a little dry on me. Not bad, but a little bit. So I've cut it back to between two, two and a half. I'll see today um, what I'll do. So that's all there is to that. And I'm just going to stick it right in the oven. You want it to cook slow. The other thing I had a hard time with was no water on it. I am so used to putting a little bit of water under my meat and stuff, and I'm like, there's gonna be water, but there's no water. Do not put any water in it. Just put it in your oven at 325 for two hours. Before it's done cooking, there is a process you have to do with tin foil, um, and then the broiler. It's not complicated, it's just a little time consuming. We'll be back in a bit. Just 
Do whatever you gotta do. Ooh, I can dress him up. Pick it up. like on the top after boiling it. So I would say you only need to boil it about four to five minutes. this segment of cooking pork loin with Sally J cooking with Sally J go ahead and hit the subscribe button um, you also can have get this recipe on my Facebook page cooking with Sally J as well as the complete recipe um, the thing with this is when you broil it it's broiled on high but it should be probably four to five minutes no longer than that um, and I cooked this one I can't remember how much it weighed but I cooked this one for two hours so two hours, if it's bigger, two and a half hours is all you'd need to do. So enjoy and have a great day.